This is Chad Davenport. I hope you've had a chance to read my story, Cuba Now, in the July issue. This is a black and white photograph of La Cabana Fortress, taken in the 1800s. Here's a color shot of that same fortress, um, taken just a few months ago. If you've read the story, you know that it involves my going back to Cuba on the 50th anniversary of the revolution to try and track down my family's lost tobacco estate. And I took with me 27 black and white photographs that I believe my great uncle had taken back in the early 1900s. This is the Cathedral of La Havana. My idea was to go down and take then and now photographs, use these old black and whites as kind of a, um, a treasure hunt to follow along and get me deeper into Cuba. Here's a shot of the interior of the cathedral. And notice how it changes over uh, almost um, anywhere between 80 and 100 years. I'm not quite sure exactly on some of the dates of these photographs. But I spent a couple of days wandering around Old Town Havana. Um, here's a photograph of the Palacio de los Capitanes Generales, which is where the Spanish governor used to live, and then later the U.S. Pre uh, I guess the U.S. governors, uh, military governors, when they were administering Cuba. So I wandered all around Old uh, Havana looking for these scenes. This was a photograph of the skyline. And you can see how low the city is. All the customs buildings have been moved away. Um, the city's grown up here in this view. You can see the Capitol building in the far right-hand corner. Um, notice there's no boats. Uh, obviously, Fidel Castro is not keen on having people leave Cuba. This is the Hotel Louvre, uh, which I spent a lot of time looking for, wandering up and down San Rafael Street. Had no luck at all. And one day when I was looking at a map, I happened to look right up, and there it was. I counted the windows and checked the architecture. It was the same same uh, building that I had been looking for all the time. Some of the other landmarks, like El Moro Castle, out uh, across the bay, were much easier to find. I just simply caught a taxi uh, through the tunnel and then hiked out along the coast until I found roughly the same perspective. I think the place that I enjoyed the most, as far as photography went, these black and white photos, was heading out to the countryside, where time seems to have stood still. This is an old bullock cart out somewhere probably in Vinales, uh, the Pinar del Rio province, it wasn't hard to come across the same scene today. Just driving down the road, I would see plenty of these. And I really enjoyed taking those photographs. Of course, I used these photographs to try and find my family's land. And if you read the story, you know how well that worked out for me, and you know whether or not I'm a wealthy landowner in Cuba now, or whether I still have to write and shoot stories for a living. Um, this is one of my favorite photographs of a farmer working his tobacco plantation out in Vinales. I eventually wound my way back to Havana, the capital, where I found out the mystery behind these black and white photographs and that they weren't taken by my great uncle at all, but were taken much earlier in the 1800s. And if you've read the story, again, you know the rather tragic ending to the photographer. Fortunately, my story has a happier ending, and I really hope you enjoyed it.